Setting up Windows 10 S is very similar to other versions such as Windows 10 Professional. There are a few things that Windows 10 S doesn't support which are supported in Windows 10 Professional. The main difference in the setup process is that Windows 10 S can only be joined to Azure Active Directory online and cannot be joined to a local domain. Otherwise, the setup process is completely unchanged from normal versions of Microsoft Windows. Windows 10 S comes pre-installed in a variety of new and exciting education-focused machines which are readily available for use in classrooms and other education environments. It can also be installed using your volume licensing agreement on any compatible machine. So any machine that currently runs Windows 10 or has the capacity to do so is capable of running Windows 10 S. Windows 10 S could be downloaded from the volume licensing portal and installed using a normal USB media created with a variety of tools such as the Microsoft Media Creation Tool or a third party tool such as Rufus. At the beginning of the setup process for Windows 10 S, once you've either installed it on the machine or you've opened your machine out of the box, the setup process is the same. You're invited to use Cortana to set up your PC so that you can interact with her using your voice, or you can mute her with the icon at the bottom left of the screen. First of all, you'll be asked to supply your region. So next up is your keyboard layout. Choose from the list if your PC has not already detected the correct one. One can add another keyboard layout here too, or you can do it later in the language settings in exactly the same way as other versions of Windows 10. The next step is perhaps the most important part of the setup. We can set this PC up for personal use with a personal Microsoft account, but much more likely you will need to join it to Azure AD as a work or school machine. At this point, it will ask you to sign in with a Microsoft Work or School account. This needs to be the account of an Office 365 administrator. At this point, if it's successful, this machine will have been joined to Azure Active Directory and it will register the machine in the All Devices group in Intune for Education. If you use Intune for Education, you can then move this machine later on to another group for management. The last step in the setup process is to set the privacy settings for this device. You can customize them or you can leave them exactly as they are. And the very last part simply starts services inside Windows 10. Once inside Windows 10, it looks very similar to Windows 10 Professional. If you open the Start menu and Settings, and go to the Apps section, you'll notice perhaps the biggest difference is that local apps are not installed on that machine, and only Windows Store apps can be deployed. Other than that, most of the settings are exactly the same. 